Now it's time for your women's soccer spring update with head coach Amy Burberry. And coach, some exciting things happened over the course of the spring. First off, your first spring match you took on Tennessee, which is a quality, quality team. And your team held on and got that victory. Why don't you talk about that? Sure, they did. Uh, Tennessee's a NCAA tournament team. We went in there, only have practiced together for about two weeks. Um, you know, and I told them before the game, I'm not really concerned with the results here. I want to make sure that we're doing some of the things that we've been working on over the past two weeks, changing our style a little bit. We did well. Looking at where the team started this spring to where it ends at the end of the school year, what type of improvement did the team make? Oh, they made tremendous improvement. Uh, just trying to buy into what our new staff um, is trying to teach them. You know, they welcomed the assistants after they got here after a couple of weeks. They've been running some training sessions at well. I think we've got a really cohesive unit. You know, and we talked a lot about that this isn't just about the coaches and the players. We've all got to be on the same page with what we're trying to do here to improve. And I just, every game we got better. You filled out your staff. Why don't you tell everybody about your assistant coaches? Sure. Uh, Sergio Gonzalez, um, he'll kind of be in charge of the goalkeepers and defense. Uh, he came from New Jersey Institute of Technology. He's the head coach there. We worked together at the University of Dayton uh, for a couple of years before I left to go to Auburn. So we've known each other for a long time. Tremendous uh, recruiter, great defensive mind, as well as on-field trainer, and superb with goalkeepers. So we're really excited about him. The other assistant is Benji Walton. He was the head coach at Birmingham Southern. He transi transitioned them from Division I to Division Three, and has been very successful as far as getting quality players on the recruiting side. So that was a big thing, and he'll actually be in charge of our offense. A great offensive mind that he has. Started a little bit late uh, from the time that you were hired. What's it been like on the recruiting trail? How has Indiana and the new staff been received? I think it's been, we've been received very well. We've had a lot of comments from coaches of us being on the sidelines saying thanks for coming to our games. People are buying into what we're trying to do here and change the culture a little bit. We've had a ton of kids on campus over the past month or so. Uh, gotten three commitments uh, for our 2014 class. We're trying to round that out and diving right into the 2015 class. So it should be a fun couple of months here through the summer while we uh, get around the country before we start our season in August. This is a team that's got several returning players from last year's squad, but you actually have some history, especially with the group that is going to be a senior class. So on some level, it's been a nice transition that way. Yeah, you know, it was funny when I was going through the interview process and I was looking through it, you, these kids stick in your head over the years. Uh, Lisa Nguyen Sang Si was part of uh, a big push that we had when Sergio and I were at the University of Dayton. We recruited her hard and I, just very, very excited to coach her again. Shannon Flower, another senior. Uh, Sergio coached her in ODP for years in Ohio South. So it was fun to see some familiar faces. And I think that helped us a little bit uh, with a little credibility with those guys already knowing who we were, what we were about um, to filter through the rest of the team. You've now actually seen two seasons in the state of Indiana. Now you've seen the winter, you've seen the spring, you settled in, your office has the pictures on the wall now. Your overall impressions of Indiana, what has it been like here in Bloomington these last oh, couple months? Oh, it's a beautiful place. I, I feel like I've lived here forever and it's only been two and a half months, but it's been great. Uh, what we've uh, received from the people that work here, just the community, people trying to help us out, get uh, women's soccer out there and get some fans this fall. It's been great. It's going to be a great schedule next fall, a chance for fans to see the new look Indiana Hoosiers. But what are some of the key things that both you and the players are, are going to be doing over the course of the summer? Well, we'll be recruiting like crazy. Uh, hopefully the players are taking what we've done with them for the two months and working really hard. I mean, it's up to them now uh, for the next couple of months to work hard in the weight room, um, physically uh, and mentally off the field to get themselves prepared for what uh, we expect come August 7th. All right, pretty exciting time for Indiana women's soccer. That is your spring update.